what's good YouTube it's your boy Kwan the genius here and I'm back with another video this video is a little different from my other RB World 3 videos because it's more of a tutorial now it's not more of entertaining or nothing but um lately I've been seeing a lot of people wondering how to dribble glitch on an Xbox controller because you see all these tutorials of people showing people how to do it on keyboard and this slide your finger this do that and this and that but they don't really explain how to do it on an Xbox controller and some people, uh, they tell you how to do it on the Xbox controller like do it on PC. But in my opinion, it just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel like it's not really sliding or nothing too much on the Xbox controller. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to, uh, well, technically, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Show you how to dribble glitch with an Xbox controller. So first thing you want to do is, of course, load up our Brew 3 get into a session where you can grab a ball and dribble without nobody interfering with your game second learn the controls learn how to dribble you know i heard i was playing play now and somebody had trouble doing that double cross to double cross in the right hand it's a uh, cb and in the left hand it's zb all right remember that so you know how to dribble whatever now you want to learn how to dribble glitch on the controller so what you want to do is hold lt when you let go of LT, it's kind of similar to keyboard, so listen up. When you let go of LT, as soon as you feel it halfway up, you press B. Now, you're not going to get it all the time, but once you do, and you do it more and you practice it more, you'll see that dribble glitch animation like that. Once you see how fast he dribbles like that, like that right there, that's how you know you've done the animation. Now to do all the cool little spins and stuff, what you gotta do is after you get this dribble animation, you gotta do a dribble move fast. You can't you can't be slow with it, you can't be like this. And then dribble, cause it won't work. You gotta be fast with it, I'll show you. Like that. And that's how you get a cool dribble move. I got a little double spin on there. I actually fooled a couple people once. I did a spin like this. It spun the other way. I did that wrong, but I spun the other way really fast and he didn't know I was gonna go the other way. Cause he didn't know I was, he didn't know I was dribble glitching. But um, I made show of hand cam, a hand cam of me showing you right now. Actually, I ain't gonna just say man. I am gonna show you a little hand cam of what I'm talking about when it's like halfway up, when the LT is like halfway up. Press B. So. There you go. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but take a good look at it. And yeah, now I'ma uh, show you some other glitches that you could do on controller that may be a little bit difficult, different PC. Now to me, all the glitches in this game are easier on a controller because I primarily play on one. So this glitch is pretty easy right here. It's like a self alley oop glitch right here. All you gotta do is press the dribble move, and, and as soon as as soon as uh, quick candles pop up, that's where you do a layup. And then once you do a layup, you gotta dunk. You gotta press Y. Ooh, green dunk! <laughs> Literally a green dunk <laughs> on a guard, but that's cool. And um, yeah, so that's how you do a self alley oop glitch. Now, one of my uh personal favorites, I like to euro step a lot. Like I like to do this one spinning layup glitch or whatnot. What and um, you euro step right, you dribble, then you euro step. Then you kind of do that a little bit. Sometimes you'll either get like a double pump where it looks like he's laying up again, or sometimes you get something like this, hold on. like that, where he just pump fakes and just throws it in the air. I don't know why those two happen. But sometimes I can perfect it to where nothing, where none of those things happens. And all you gotta do is press Y after the first hop step. Nothing will happen. And yeah, so I perfected that move. Any other glitches I can think of that I do? Mm, not really, not really any other glitches. Oh yeah, jelly glitch. I used to jelly a lot until I started breaking a lot of them. So what you do is you lay up, well, hold on, not, not, not just lay up. You do the uh, you press C or any other dribble move con control again, 
Not that, not that. <laughs> I'm tripping. You press, all right, since the ball in my right hand, I'm gonna press C, you lay up, and you press B. And it kind of looks like your player is going a little jelly. Hold on, watch this. Like, like that. And it looks pretty cool. And, um, ooh, yeah, V tap. To be honest, it's either V tap, C tap, X tap, Z tap. Either one of those controls, but it's called V tap because everybody just does it. Um, everybody else does it. I use C tap. So I pretty much tap, T, tap Z. C or Z. It don't even matter. And as soon as Diamond, or not even Diamond, any quick hand those badge pops up, that's when you shoot. You can shoot anything. You can shoot a regular jump shot. You can even uh, see V tap a fade like that. Now, all for the Xbox players, every time I say Z or C or V or X, you should already know which arrow those uh, arrows represent. So, I hope you understand that too. And, um, oh, yeah. That glitch too, the double pump glitch or whatever, double dunk, whatever, to make your dunks look cooler. All you gotta do is pretty much the, like the same earlier glitch. The, uh, the jelly glitch, except for a dunk. It makes the dunks look <laughs> like five times more aggressive, ten times more aggressive than it actually is. And if you want to see it on different dunks, hold on, I'm going to choose, uh, where is he at? Yeah, Henry Ford. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like on him, since he got the, I think the wind, no, the tomahawk. He got the tomahawk dunk. Yeah, be careful when you do it with a tomahawk dunk, though, because you can break sometimes. Hold on, because it gets hit by the rim, like that. You gotta be careful when you do it with the tomahawk dunk, though. But if you do it with a windmill dunk, I'm gonna show you right now on the aviators. Dorian Lawson. If you do it with the windmill dunk, you'll be fine. And I did it wrong. Hold on. Yeah, you'll be fine. Just, just be in range. Don't jump too far, like I did there, and you'll be fine. Oh, I'll do it one more time, like that. It'll be cool. Now, if you want to do it for a behind the like. Uh, Behind the back dunk or something like that. Reverse dunk. There we go. Hold on. Where's the team? I think Xavier Dennis or whatever his name is has the dunk animation. So let me try out him. Yup, he does. And that's what it looks like on him. Oh, can he green? 54. You tripping. Ain't no way this man only getting 54s and he's like a 94 overall or something, bro. Ain't no way. Couldn't be my build. 53. Yeah, this definitely could not be my build. Um, No other glitches that I know so far. All the other glitches I used to do are broken due to the older updates and stuff. Maybe Roblox too. Like there was this one glitch. All you do was you did the dribble move and a whole G at the same time it started. And that doesn't work anymore. Like, yeah, that doesn't really work anymore. Now, I'm going to show y'all one more time that clip again, that hand can clip on the dribble glitch, though. See, so I'm getting fresh in your memories again, fresh in your minds. And there y'all go. Ooh, he finally got a 60 plus 3 now. But it was a slightly late. That's sad. This is sad for this man, bro. Mm. Bomb, yeah. I think that's all the glitches I know so far. V tap. Dribble glitch. Uh, jelly dunks. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All right, but if you're new and you like the video, like the video if you like the video, like the video if you like the video. You know what I mean when I say that, bro. You already know. And But if you're new, subscribe. 
you don't have to turn noties on but subscribe because you know hit that red button turn noties off if you really don't want to hear from me and you want to come to me with your own time that's fine or turn them all on if you want to come be the first one in the videos but uh, i reply to every comment so re comment if you're new or if you're old and returning you can comment again i'm still gonna reply to you as long as i ain't disrespectful or totally off topic from what i support and stuff but other than that it's been your boy Kamana Genius, and I'm out.